A vocal Euro enthusiast, Emmanuel Macron chose to play the European anthem as he made his way to the Champ de Mars. In the lead-up to the vote, he had painted the choice between he and Le Pen as a referendum on Europe. It's no surprise then that Macron's win was welcomed by EU allies. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, with whom Macron held his first phone call after re-election, congratulated him on Twitter. He wrote, Your constituents also sent a strong commitment to Europe today. I'm pleased that we will continue our positive cooperation. Ursula von der Leyen, the European Commission president, said, I look forward to continuing our excellent cooperation. Together we will move France and Europe forward. Meanwhile, Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez said it was a win for democracy and for Europe. France currently holds the rotating presidency of the Council of the EU, a testing time amid war in Ukraine. Macron has spearheaded efforts to defuse the crisis. We have so much to do, and the war in Ukraine reminds us that we're going through tragic times where France must make its voice heard. Other issues Macron will be looking to tackle in his next term include reducing the bloc's dependence on imported energy, as well as the creation of an EU defence project.